Here we are folks, we are now going to test the incline out. That's at the top of the first rise. And now we start the second rise over here. And we shall run him into these boards over here. That's it. And now we shall run him back down. She seems to be running quite smooth.
Here we are folks, welcome to Collins Model Railway, our next plan of attack for scenics on the railway, I will show you now in a second. Now then, you may well notice that the brickwork has been placed on the incline along here and in the distance down here as well. Now, my next plan of attack is, is to fit this section of brickwork by here onto this panel by here. Now then, what I've done here, you may have noticed that the joints are nice and level by here. And what I've done on the reverse, as you can see the joint by here, and the other joint by here, is I put strips, thin strips of brickwork across the joints by here. And I've done another strip across by here, and one by here. Now, this by here now, will fit across here. And what I shall use, I'm not sure if you can quite see, is a lot of push pins by here. Is when I fit the glue on by here, I shall place a few push pins in here to hold it in place till the glue goes off. Now, my next plan of attack is this section by here. Now, what I've done, this is the brickwork panels by here. As you may well see, it's got the joints nice and flush by here. Now, this panel is going to fit on the reverse by here. Like so, over there. Now then, what I've done here is across the bottom there where the joint is by here. I cut the piece from by there to by there of the brickwork and I've attached it across the joint. And I put a piece by here and I have a piece on this end as well. And on the top then, where this is going to be the brickwork on the inside by here, is I put a piece across here, one piece for there, and a piece for there. Now, I have to glue this. Now, this is what I'm going to do later on now this morning, is to glue it, and then I'm going to come up and place it then on the layout, and we shall show you then at a later date how it's going. There you go for now. Here we are folks, what I've done now this afternoon, uh, as you may well see, I have attached the brickwork onto the rear of the elevated section by air. I have used some clear glue on it, and I have attached a few push pins in it to hold the cardboard in place for now, until the glue goes off. And what I've done as well, I've done the same on this section by here. So we will have to leave the glue set off now for the time being. And then, as you may well notice, we got the front end of the brickwork by here to attach. And this section by here. We shall come back to you at a later date with that. And see how we go. There you go for now. Now then, what I've done here to get the girder bridge just about level as I can get it, as you know, I trimmed a little bit of the top of the polystyrene off this side by here, and a little bit by here, about eighth of an inch thereabouts, but it's always better to trim a little bit too much and not enough. Now what I've done, I've used a little bit of flexible filler, and I've got a couple of these small little cardboard strips. Cut them to size, and you may well just see one under there. I shall camouflage that at a later date. Uh, this one here fits in rather snug, this one do. So that's what I've done by there to get this bridge level. There you go for now.
Here we are folks, the next stage done on adding the brickwork to the inclines. You may well notice all the push pins on there, which will hold the cardboard in place for now. And this section along the year. And what we shall do now, the next plan of attack is to fit this section like this on top of here. And that'll come now in the next few days. And of course, we got this piece to fit on top of here as well. And as I say, we should come back in the next few days with that.